Hello, this is Dave Levy, the creator of Bowtie, under the name Aphids Jacoboodle. I'm here with another commentary on episodes 11 through 20. Don't Like Her is one of my favorite episodes. I just really enjoyed this bunny character and doing her voice. It's fun doing female voices, and I do all the voices on Bowtie, but I just really liked um, getting into character and, and doing the whole, uh, oh, don't like her. All the stories in Bowtie are based on true events in my life, um, little things. I, I love using the little moments of everyday life um, as inspiration for stories. And a friend's mom had this argument with me, and that's what's recreated here in Unforgettable, episode 12. And Bowtie shows it's fun to be right, even years later when you're by yourself staring at the wall. The way bow ties are recorded, I don't script anything in advance. Uh, basically, I have a list of the little stories I want to try out. So I just start speaking the story. And if it comes out funny, I usually know um, while I'm doing it. And then uh, if there's multiple characters, I'll usually do them in order. And, uh, and then I might cut that a little tighter in the final edit so they might overlap a little bit and really give you that feeling of two characters speaking. Keys is one of those episodes that people are surprised is based on a real life story. Um, I think because it's such an odd thing to do, to try to use your cat to meet a girl. <laughs> Twirlet is that kind of episode that tries to explore that aspect of childhood where you had nothing to do, you had nowhere to be, and when a friend came over, you might just literally do nothing. But you still felt like you were doing something, and that's kind of a thing, I think, unique to kids, that as an adult, I don't know that I, I ever feel anymore. Now we feel guilt. The Pen is another bow tie episode that takes a school story and brings it into the office. The girl sitting behind me in school was um, poking me with her pen and I finally just threw it out the classroom. Notice the background here. We're back to that cubicle office world you saw in clay. I want to say a little bit about branding and you can see every bow tie opens with that uh, title card, the song, the little jingle, and that iris out. And then in the in Blinky, episode 16, you see there's these title cards a week later, the next day, and, and stuff like that. And I think all those storytelling tools um, become part of the branding, become part of the language of the show. A funny thing about Blinky um, in the real story, for years I thought, oh my god, my dad loved this hamster as much as I did. I had no idea that he, he loved this hamster. But of course, when I look at it now, I know he wasn't crying for the hamster, he was crying because I was sad. I'm a huge Seinfeld fan, so Dino Mutt is another episode seemingly is about nothing. It's about these little nothing moments. Why did this even stay in my head? Why did I remember this all these years later and make a cartoon out of it? Sound effects in Bowtie are either done verbally, so if a character walks through the room, I'll do a ba ba ba, some kind of noise like that. Um, but I also use real sound, so in this case, I just recorded my kitchen sink. Be Nuts episode 18 is one of those word for word, barely change the thing events that happen just as you see it here. Only I wasn't with a robot and the grocery clerk wasn't a, a bear. Unlike the real event, the embellishment here was just letting the sound effect of the peanuts shake as he as he walked away, like hearing him get further and further away, and just celebrating the awkwardness of all that. I want to say a few words about Bowtie as a channel. So in episodes 11 through 20, the channel was still unsupported. I wasn't part of the Channel Federator network yet. And the release schedule was really just any time I made a cartoon, I would launch it. So there, there wasn't a whole lot of um, rhythm to it. $50 is an episode that makes my friend uh, cringe, the friend who is the real pizza slice, because he remembers this argument and remembers being so confused as to why I was so insistent. Art class is the first time I tried beeping out dialogue and bow tie, um, implying that there's a curse word under that beep. But really it was just a chance to um, focus on high school and how insignificant it really is. You'd see in art class the spotlight motif where Bowtie breaks the fourth wall and talks directly to the audience. I'd done that first in Blinky and kind of filed it away as, ooh, I like that. I want to do that again when it's appropriate. Hey, what would you like me to talk about on the next commentaries? 
Or what would you like me to cover in other behind the scenes episodes? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching commentary on episodes 11 through 20. And don't forget to check out this channel every Tuesday for new cartoons. Be sure and visit Channel Frederator and be sure and stop by every Thursday for episode packs or episode commentaries. Goodbye for now. Bye 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 bye.